Well, good morning. Uh, it's, um, it's a beautiful day today, and so I thought I'd pop out and have another look at Padgate. Padgate City, and that's where we are, Padgate City. But I'm in a very special place at the moment. I'm on the Iron Bridge at Padgate. Now this Iron Bridge, I'm on it, can you see it here? It's, uh, it's, it's an Iron Bridge, quite clearly, and it crosses the, the, the railway line, which goes from Manchester that way to Liverpool that way. And Warrington, the town centre, is going round the corner there, going round the corner. Now this bridge used to be twice as long. It's only small now, but it used to be twice as long because there was another set of railways which, which went that way as well, all right the way down there. So the line bent to Warrington, but there was also a route that went straight through there and this formed a desert with the embankment on that side and the embankment on this side, that place there was called the Lost Desert or the Lost, the Lost Valley, I think we used to call it, the Lost Valley. And this is an amazing place because we used to have picnics and all sorts of things down there when we were, when we were little, because I used to live around here. Also, this place here, over the, over the, over the side here, is called Padgate Camp. Now, Padgate Camp, whoa, in the 40s, in the war, this was a really busy, busy place. There were soldiers, there was RAF men practicing and training in the, in the war. But we can't tell now, it's a quite a tranquil place, but it used to be a really, really busy place. And just over here, where I'm just pointing there, is where the, the firing range used to be. The firing range was a huge wall and there was all sand in it, where the, obviously the soldiers used to, used to fire the guns and so forth. And as kids, we used to come round and start digging in the sand to find the bullets. Cheapers, creepers! But they were all right, they were all spent cartridges. But cheapers could have been a bit dangerous taking all those bullets home. Anyway, I don't think you'd find that nowadays. But anyway, it's all gone now, it's a shame. But there is a spooky story. This land all over here, before it was Paget Camp, used to belong to William Bennett. William Bennett is the guy who's, whose house I used to live in. He's actually quite interested in the Bennett, the Bennetts in particular. And the Bennetts owned all this farm, and it was all farmland. And one day, Farmer Bennett was, was uh, ploughing the fields, and he saw a spooky figure. A spooky figure climbing up over this bridge, the Iron Bridge of Padgate. So, oh, here's a train as well. See the train coming as well while, while we're talking. A real life train, amazing. Anyway, Pag uh, this, uh, this spooky figure, he didn't know what it was. He just like a shadowy figure and they just disappeared. Poor William Bennett. I don't know what happened to him, but uh, I've never seen any ghost over here. But anyway, bit of a spooky story associated with Padgate. But the good thing is that uh, after uh, when William Bennett had this land, he gave it all to the local community. And now it's called Bennett's Rec or Bennett's Recreation Ground, which is over there. And what a lovely, lovely place. So I'll just view over Padgate City as we see. And uh, without further ado, I hope you have a fabulous day, day and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.